Dirk Tausmer is the Managing Director of Rapport Guest Services and Chair of the Corporate Receptionist of the Year Award. Dirk joined This Week in FM to tell us about the prestigious award and what makes receptionists working in the corporate sector so special. Please introduce yourself. So my name is Dirk Talsma and I'm the Managing Director of Rapport Guest Services and I'm also very privileged to be the Chair of the Corporate Receptionist of the Year competition. How did the idea for the Corporate Receptionist of the Year Award come about? So the Corporate Receptionist of the Year competition was a brainchild of Greg Mays, the previous Managing Director of Rapport Guest Services. And, and Greg at one point was talking to him about the challenges he was facing with regards to uh, raising awareness of the guest services industry in the corporate sector. And he was talking to me about an idea with regards to um, starting a competition to raise the awareness and to really celebrate the role of the receptionist in the corporate sector. Following this conversation, Greg uh, then pulled together a framework with regards to the competition, what it would look like, the awards, the category and also the prizes that could be won and Greg reached out to all the leading guest services uh, companies in the UK marketplace and I'm delighted to say that so many of these leading companies have embraced the competition and have uh, gotten behind it for all the years that the competition has run so far. What makes corporate receptionists different from other front of house professionals? The receptionist in the corporate industry, they play such a pivotal role with regards to providing a very warm welcome and a fond farewell for all our clients, guests and visitors. Their role should not be underestimated. The impact that they have on someone's day is incredible. I always talk about the, the final 5% that we can add to our client's proposition and that really is what the corporate receptionist does. Receptionists you'll, you'll find, of course, in many different industries. What the difference is in the corporate sector is that the receptionists in our world typically work Monday to Friday, and they also work real, real normal hours. So what you get is you get individuals who are incredibly passionate about customer service, guest services, and, and ultimately looking after people and enhancing people's days. These people are often found in the retail industry or in the luxury hotel and hospitality industry. What we then offer in the corporate sector is a bit more of a balanced lifestyle. So imagine if you can still look after people, provide service and do everything that you're passionate about, but also have a bit of a, a balanced life outside of work. And that is what we offer in the corporate guest services industry. What has impressed you the most about the award entrance over the years? So looking back at the applicants over the, the, the previous few years of the competition, what really strikes me is that the most incredible entries really have come from applicants who were just so clearly able to demonstrate their passion for guest services and corporate guest services and serving people in general. If I speak about myself, you know, that's where my passion for customer service comes from and guest service comes from. We have such an incredible ability to make someone's day, to unruin someone's day and to really just make a real difference and create a real memorable guest experience. So the most, um, the most memorable uh, applicants over the last few years were, were able to demonstrate exactly that. They were able to evidence uh, a service that was both personal that was very intuitive, but they were also highly innovative and they were able to think on their feet. When something really unexpected came on their path, they were able to deal with that in an incredible, uh, passionate manner. And then lastly, the most memorable entries that we've seen for the last few years is where the finalists were able to demonstrate their personality. I mean, think about the most incredible guest experience that you've ever had. It was never around a building, it was never around an object that didn't live. There's always a person who's central to that experience. So personal experience, intuitive experience, and oodles of, of personality. I think that's what we typically look for. And uh, those entries really remain incredibly memorable to this day. Can you tell us more about this year's awards event? Well, the preparations for this year's awards event are well on the way. I spoke to the team earlier and uh, I do believe that this year the event is going to be even bigger and better than previous years. And what an incredible evening it is because the room is filled with all of the 10 finalists. Sometimes we see their clients come along, but also their family members come along as well. And it's so lovely to have these inspirational people in one room being supported by their clients, their family members and their colleagues. I mean, it's a wonderful evening. And of course, the awards event coincides with International Receptionist Day, which always takes place on the second Wednesday in May. 
and it's a great opportunity for us to shine a light and for us to celebrate the incredible role that the receptionists uh, fulfill and the real value that they add to the organizations that they work for. How have previous finalists benefited from being involved with the event? So we are so very pleased to still be in touch with many of the finalists of the previous competitions that we've run. And in fact, many of these finalists really endorsed the competition, have really enjoyed the process that they've gone through. Uh, I think they will all say that they were put and pushed out of their comfort zones, but they all saw that as a positive and they've gone on to do incredible things in their career, but also in their personal lives as well. And, and I highly encourage you to look at the social media channels of the Corporate Receptionist of the Year uh, competition, and you'll see some of them, those endorsements uh, on there. And if we then go on to the winners, well, every single one of the winners so far they've gone on to be promoted in their role and they're still very much in the industry because of course this is an industry that they love.